well, you could subscribe to Arduino Tronic or just go jump in a lake. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Some very wise words there. Now, a lot of people have been asking me what my theory is about the moon missions. Did we actually go to the moon? And I'm sorry to disappoint some of you by saying, yes, men did land on the moon. The only thing is that they didn't come back again. And the reason for this is quite simple. It would have been impossible without any shielding wearing simple linen spacesuits without any shielding for them to have survived the radiation. The Americans knew this, the Russians knew this, the Chinese knew this. Why did nobody say anything? Well, the Russians at the time were dependent heavily on US grain crops. It was the only thing stopping the population from starving. So they weren't going to rock the boat at all. The Chinese had their own internal problems they had revolution brewing, they had um, a number of financial problems and they wouldn't have rocked the boat either. Not to mention the fact that at the time the Chinese weren't very technologically sophisticated at all. So even if they knew, they wouldn't have said anything. So somewhere on the moon, um, some very brave astronauts died and the early missions were manned the later missions I believe probably were not um, and I, my reason for that is simply the space rover there is no way that the rocket engine on the actual lunar module would have been able to handle the weight plus the oxygen plus the water plus the personnel and I think all of this deployment was done uh, automatically via radio um, an interesting fact is that all of the tele telemetry from the Apollo missions is completely missing. All of the thousands and thousands of feet of tape, gone, didn't actually exist. Now, what on earth happened to the missing astronauts? Well, the US now has a military space shuttle. Um, that is always disappearing. I mean, it disappeared for two weeks back when it was first announced because it has stealth capabilities and it disappeared for a year in 2016. And what was it doing on this mission? Well, as well as the normal sort of military missions of satellite maintenance and things like that, this robotic space shuttle, which is equipped with an arm, would be perfectly capable of retrieving bodies from the lunar surface. Remember, it's smaller, it's faster than a regular space shuttle. It doesn't have people on, it has more room for fuel, so it can rattle around up there for an awful long time. So this would have been the way that the US retrieved the bodies because at the moment lots of other nations are thinking about going into space and I have no doubt that all of the things that came back from the moon were actually fakes because nothing actually came back from the moon because the astronauts themselves did not travel. They may have been able to pack um, a few dozen pounds of moon rock into some sort of container and retrieve it, I don't know, but I doubt it, especially seeing as the uh, recent exposure of one of the moon rocks as being a piece of fossil wood from Earth. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not likely. So this would explain a famous speech given by one of the astronauts to some students where he muttered about 
one of Truth's protective layers being peeled away and uh, said that only the first step has been accomplished and there is much left for others to do, many discoveries for them to make simply because he never set foot on the moon. The first step he accomplished, which was low Earth orbit, um, the other steps of actually landing on the moon he never did. Some very, very brave astronauts did that and probably committed suicide rather than die of radiation poisoning on the lunar surface after they deployed the scientific packs and uh, so on. It's a very sad thing but I'm sure that this or a variation of it is what actually happened because of the sheer physical impossibility of humans without any shielding surviving over two weeks in space over four days on the surface of the moon transversing the Van Allen belts and so on. And you have to remember that NASA is now currently so worried about radiation in space that they're actually putting shielding on their next, next lot of manned craft that are due to fly outside the Earth's orbit, the Orion project. Uh, another little giveaway is the fact that re-entry modules um, from missions outside the Earth actually come back at a much higher speed. They hit the Earth's atmosphere at a much higher speed than those from low Earth orbit. And they're saying, oh, we don't know how to make those tiles, that, that re-entry shielding that we used on Apollo anymore. We've lost all of the details. Yeah, right, we believe that. Um, the thing is that it would have just been standard re-entry shielding because the only returning capsules came from low Earth orbit and they wouldn't have seen the uh, extra 50% or so of speed that you would have from a returning moon mission so for the Orion mission they're having to totally and utterly invent a new type of heat shield to cope with it and there's just so much evidence that stacks up that says no the moon missions were a fake um, that it's quite beyond belief that anyone would think there wasn't something really really hooky with the moon missions. So I hope you found this an interesting point of view. Um, sorry to disappoint those who think that we never actually went to the moon. I believe we did. And I will see you in another video soon where I will talk about stars in space. And there are, to, sorry to disappoint you guys who think that you can't see stars from space, there are in fact NASA photographs taken from the ISS that show not just stars in space but an awful lot of stars in space and some dust clouds as well. So stay tuned for more and if you like this video please like, share and subscribe. Remember subscription is free and it means that you will get some notice according to what YouTube is feeling like of new videos that I post. Thank you. Bye. Today we have with us uh, a group of students among America's best. To you we say we've only completed a beginning. We leave you much that is undone. There are great ideas undiscovered. Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers.